LeBron James isn't as good as Michael Jordan. That's why. That's it. That's what most people are going to be in it for anyway. Like Space Jam, it's Looney Tunes. I want to see him fuck. Like he said, I want to see him fuck. They're probably my favorite wrestler of all time. $140 million projection to $100 million projection within days of her saying this shit. Oh, no. We've had women in the MCU as superheroes since day fucking one. What's going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of our favorite fucking thing in the world, the Power Button Podcast. I am your co-host, Darren Bodybag Beasley, and who's this motherfucker? I'm your fucking co-host, Josh fucking Meanie. Yeah, I'm trying something new. I'm going to throw some fucks in the Trying money. something new. You're stealing my style. All right. I won't say fuck anymore. <laughs> Now, what are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> well, today we're going to be doing what we've been doing. We're going to do the game called Game or Pull the Plug. We will give a couple topics, ask each other whether we are game for the topic or we pull the plug. Game meaning you're for it, you fucking love it, yeah, let's do it. Pull the plug meaning fuck that shit, throw it out the window. Pull the plug out of the socket. And our first topic is Space Jam 2 starring LeBron James to start filming this summer. <laughs> he laughs. <laughs> Jesus, I guess that makes you know what yeah, it, what right. it is. I think uh, you're game, right? No, I am not game for this at all. Okay. Okay. So here's the thing, right? I'm gonna read the facts that we got here, right? <clears throat> so it's being produced by Ryan Coogler. Which you didn't know, he's the guy who directed Black Panther, right? And Creed 1 and 2. Yes, okay. So he's Michael B. Jordan's dude, basically. <laughs> and and uh, it's also being produced by LeBron James. We don't really know what the fuck that means. Like, nope. I, I, would imagine, I would imagine that he's investing in the movie. That's what I. That's the the first yeah, extent probably. that that I could see him getting involved in something like this. Um, I, here's the thing. I like Space Jam, the first one. You know what yeah. I mean? I think it's a classic <laughs> animated movie. Um. There's no confirmation on any returning cast members. And I'm, I'm assuming you're talking about the Looney Tunes characters. No, no, as in, like, uh, Michael Jordan, um, what was that fat white guy, his friend? Oh, yeah, yeah, that, the Jurassic that, Park Because we dude. know, I mean, Looney Tunes, they're going to be in the movie. Yeah, so I was about to say, they have to be no, the No, I main. mean, cast members as actual human beings. Okay, right, right. So well, there's there, was only, the, what, there's only, like, two or three of two them. Two or three, yeah. yeah and no word on any of them. Michael Jordan's probably not like going to be in it. Yeah, right. I highly doubt it. But you never know. He can make a small cameo or something. But. So here's the thing. I'm not, I say pull the plug on this. If they're doing it, oh, well, I'm just, I would shoot this dead in the water if I had the chance to. Uh, the reason being is LeBron James isn't as good as Michael Jordan. That's why. That's it. Acting wise or? No, no, no. He's not as good of a, of a basketball That's player as <laughs> Michael Jordan. I know, they're both not good actors. <laughs> I'm just yeah. saying he's not, he is not the next Michael Jordan. I'm sorry, there will never be another Michael Jordan. I'm not taking anything away from LeBron James. I'm not saying LeBron James sucks at basketball. I'm not saying that, that, that he's not the, one of the greatest players to ever play the game. I'm not even suggesting that he's not the greatest player as of right now. You know what I mean? But I'm uh, Michael Jordan's the best basketball yeah. player to ever live. Uh, if I will say this, though. If they're going to make a Space Jam 2 and they want to have you know someone else come through and do the exact same thing all over again, then LeBron James is the guy to get. You're not, unless you're going to get Michael Jordan again, the next guy, in my opinion, number two, line, yeah. would be LeBron James. I just feel as though Space Jam was so reserved. It was so special. And the only reason why I really watched it as a kid and was into it as a kid is because Michael Jordan was in it. You know what I mean? Like what are you doing? my father, yeah, obviously. My father was into Michael Jordan 100% and that's pretty much how I knew who Michael Jordan was. I was born in 95. So by the time I was like coherent and conscious and watching basketball, Michael Jordan wasn't really playing anymore. You see what I'm saying? So I didn't know him from the court. I just knew him as the legend that he was, which draws me to Space Jam, you know? And Space Jam came out what? In the it probably when I was around be 90s. Yeah, maybe when I was 90s, born, maybe. Yeah. You know? So I was I just didn't fucking, I mean, if you even think about that, I didn't even get to see Michael Jordan play on the court whatsoever before I saw the movie. YouTube but, videos. But yeah, right. But I knew he was the greatest player of all time. And I still hold that belief to this day. 
So I just feel like LeBron James with Space Jams 2 is corny. You know, come up with something else. Again, I've said this a million times through all pretty much every single episode that we've ever aired. Yeah, you know, like, much. come up with something new. Do something different with LeBron James. Don't do a Space Jam 2. Like, although, you know what? The 2 really fits <laughs> because he's not as good as Michael he's Jordan. Two, yeah. yeah, he's number 2, so Space Jam 2. Like, But I'm just saying, if you're reserving this for the greatest of all time, I, he's he's not the greatest of all time, and I know that's debatable, but that's how I that's the opinion that I hold. So much pushes that conversation even more. LeBron James being cast in this role just pushes the conversation of Michael Jordan versus LeBron James. Oh, that hundred percent. That's really the only thing that I ever contemplate when I see this. Like I, I don't have any other problem. If Michael Jordan even came back to do a Space Jam two, I think it would weird. It'd be weird. You know, why not get LeBron James to do something different? Um, but I mean. It makes sense as far as the rest of the cast goes. As, as far as the Looney Tunes, as far as the Looney Tunes yeah. are concerned, um, I love the Looney Tunes. Oh yeah, I love to Hope see they all them come back. Yeah, I love to see them come back and play some basketball, do some dumb shit, whatever it is. In fact, if you I see it? if I ever get it, I won't go to the theaters to see this movie. Right, Obviously, right. I'm 23 year fucking year old. Like I'm not going to see this movie. <laughs> but uh, in, the, in the event that I actually end up seeing this movie at some point in my life, which I might. Um, I might not, though. Uh, I would just be in it for the Looney Tunes. I can give, really give a fuck less about LeBron James. I am guarantee you right now, LeBron James probably isn't a fire actor. So his performance in this movie is not going to draw me in. It's not going to make me feel as though, you know, I should watch this movie because LeBron James acting is going to blow it out of the water, you know? If he was a really good actor... I haven't actor, even seen LeBron James act before. Oh, well, I mean, you see him in, like, commercials and shit yeah, like that. Yeah, little stuff like that. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm curious of his acting capability. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, it's I probably mean, but not. But let's be real. Michael Jordan wasn't an Oscar. No, not <laughs> at all. Oscar actor either. You not know at all. I mean? Not at all. I'm not saying he was. He's not any yeah. better than Michael Jordan at acting. Probably right. not, you know? But, and again, I'm just saying that's not going to draw. His acting skills are not going to draw me to this movie. It's going to be the Looney Tunes. And just the fact that it's LeBron James, that's cool. To see him in a movie is just going to be cool. Um... It's just Space Jam 2 with the same idea, same thing all over again. Come on, do something fucking new. That's how I feel. I'd say pull the plug on the motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, I, de I definitely pull the plug, too. I, I, if we don't need another Space Jam 2, you're not going to be able to replicate the magic of the first Space Jam movie. Like, yeah, Jesus. Uh, I, I grew up watching that movie. Um, I, I mean, it makes sense, like he was saying, that they picked LeBron James to do it. I, I, okay. That makes sense, but just doing another Space Jam, just falling in line with these reboots and these sequels that we just really don't fucking need. I'll definitely see this movie at some point. Will I go to the theaters? It, probably not. Probably not. I, I, I want to see a trailer, definitely, see what's going on, and I want to see the Looney Tunes back. That's my childhood right there. That's what most people are going to be in it for anyway. Like Space Jam, it's Looney Tunes. I want to see them fuck. Like he said, I want to see them fuck. I, 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 where <laughs> is that going? Fuck, like he said, no, I want to see them play some fucking basketball. You know what I mean? And fu the comedy of it. And yeah, I, I'm. it's weird. I'm pulling the plug, but yet I'm saying I'm down to watch it. You know what I mean? But I'm, I pull the plug. I don't need this. This is not something we need. No, no, wait a minute. Let's let's define that more clearly. Pull the plug means you think it's a bad idea and they shouldn't do it. I don't do think it, they should do it. No, I don't think they should do it, but I will watch it. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> just because I don't think they should do it doesn't mean I'm gonna be like, nope, I don't think I'm not gonna boycott it. I don't feel that passionately well, about it. Like, it's I, I would like, say I'll, I'll, like it'll come out probably on fucking Netflix or something, and I'll click it and I'll, I'll watch it. It's Space Jam too, but I don't think I don't think they need to do this. I don't think it's really a good idea for them to do this, but. Yeah, I'll still watch it when it comes out. We'll we'll see what happens with it, but I don't think it's gonna be good. I mean, even Space Jam One isn't that good. It's just the magic of that movie that ma makes it hold up. If that movie came out today, it wouldn't be as great. I don't think as it. Michael was Jordan's then. old as shit. He's yeah. not even playing or, basketball. Or if it never was Michael Jordan, if it was just LeBron James. Oh right, you know I mean? or That'd something be corny like that. It'd just hell. be like I don't. I'm not with this, but it, it, it fit for the times. When it came out, it, it's, yeah. I think it's way too late for a Space Jam 2. I, I pulled the plug. Yeah, I think it's ridiculous. Space Jam 2, it is late as hell. If the other one came out in 95 or 96, and this one is 2019. What it took so long, even? Yeah, you know right. Because I mean? they totally could have pulled off another Space Jam with Michael Jordan two years later. Yeah, but why? People would have watched it, and it would have sold. Definitely. But it would have made it, that it would, much and money. And it'd probably you know? make more money than this one's probably going to end up making. I don't even know if this is going to theaters. I don't. I don't know how much money this movie is really gonna make. Do people really 
care that much? I don't think so. I think they had to wait for another star to get up that high, and so they were just waiting on LeBron just James. Just use somebody to get, else. It, they were waiting for him to get that fire. Yeah, I just think a, 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 a sequel with Michael Jordan maybe two years after the original had a lot more potential than this 10-year-later sequel with LeBron James. Right, you right. Know what I mean? Either way, Space Jam, that, it's one of those movies that just holds up as its own. can totally just be a solo movie. Yeah. I just don't need to do this. Yeah, but, I you mean. Know, they, like, they're going to fucking do it. They're going to keep doing this, too. This is not going to be, you know, maybe next week. We're probably going to have another topic for you that they're rebooting, doing a sequel to that we're like, here we fucking go again. They don't need to do this. But that's Hollywood for you, boys. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I'm not saying. I, I don't give a fuck what anyone says. I'm not saying LeBron James is shitty. LeBron James is good. I, there's a lot of there's a lot of people who, you know. Just shitty. They, no, well, they hate on him because he's fucking LeBron James. They hate on him because he's beating the other teams. They motherfuckers <laughs> hate on Tom Brady. Yeah, that's right. People it, say Tom Brady sucks. It's you just know? crazy to completely ignore talent. You know, to watch it is. that motherfucker. You know, it is. It's, it's it so is clear insane. that he's he's an amazing I'm player. Just, I'm just saying. Yeah, I'm just saying he's a great basketball. Oh, obviously, like I'm not fucking. I'm not one of those guys where I'm like fuck LeBron James. Like no, it, you know what I mean. I'm not even in that basketball that much. I don't even watch basketball that much, but I just you look. You turn on the TV, you see him play, you see the teams play, just even for a little bit, a couple hours. And you're like, okay, he that motherfucker knows what the shit. fuck he's doing. Fuckers yeah, nasty. exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He he knows how to play fucking basketball. He's well, obviously, but he's just yeah. He's just one of the he's one of the best. So I, that's that's how I feel about it. Fuck it. All right. So next topic: Chris Hemsworth has been cast as Hulk Hogan in an upcoming Netflix biopic. Um, is it biopic or is it biopic? It's a biopic. All right. <laughs> biopic. Sounds like some sort of tool or yeah. something. No, was it you that me. said biopic last time? I don't think and so. And I was making fun of you and I was like, biopic. What the fuck? No. I or was it me that was saying, was it me that was saying biopic? I know that it's fucking And you biopic. said that biopic? It sounds like biopic, not biopic. It sounds like a tool. Anyway, <laughs> fucking... Hulk Hogan, Netflix biopic starring Chris Hemsworth as biopic. Hulk Hogan taking place in the 80s. Game or pull the plug. Okay, so here's the thing, right? I like this idea where we're going to have this Hulk Hogan type of show come through on Netflix. Hulk Hogan is one of those the dudes. Movie. One of those dudes. Uh, movie, yeah. One of those dudes to come in uh, wrestling and just... I don't even watch wrestling. I have damn near no... Time spent watching wrestling. I watched a little bit of wrestling when I was like 11, and I knew some of the characters, mostly because some of the friends that I had in middle school at the time was into wrestling, and they would say some of the characters' names, and I just knew them. Like, I might have watched like one match before, like seriously, when I was like 11. Um, other than that, I don't watch wrestling. I barely know a goddamn thing about it. Uh, but I know, Hulk, I know Hulk Hogan like a motherfucker. You see what I'm saying? I know Rey Mysterio, Hulk Hogan. Ric Flair, The Rock, the bitches love me on my Ric Flair. Oh, Steve the Rock, Austin, Steve Austin, and the Undertaker, and 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 uh, Batista. Oh, uh, uh, well, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that yep. is. Yeah, that's true. And then that dude who uh, uh, Kane, I don't know him with remember. the red mask. You know, remember Kane? And he was no. in that horror movie, See No Evil. Oh, really? Yeah. No, I don't know. Oh, I don't know Kane. Wow. Uh, who's that dude with the uh, the lightning? That, the white shit, that's Kane's, like, like they're, they're in um, Coheats. <laughs> Ultimate Warrior. Is that his name? Ultimate Warrior. I know his oh, okay. name. Okay, I was thinking of somebody else then. Yeah, Ultimate Warrior, I know him. And uh, and that dude. And Sting, that's who I was thinking of. Oh, I've heard of him before. I thought he was a singer. Sting? I don't know. I'm tripping. I thought he was a singer for some reason. <laughs> you know what now I mean? you got me second <laughs> like, is that a singer? Okay, so clearly we <laughs> both of us we don't know that much about wrestling. No, we don't. Made. I don't watch it. I don't watch it. But I'm just saying, like, there's oh Triple H. Remember him? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, one of our buddies, his mom went to the prom with Triple H. Nichols. What? Nichols' mom went to uh, the prom with Triple H. Are you serious? Yeah. yeah. Shout out to Nichols and Nichols' mom. <laughs> but yeah, Nichols' mom went to. She the prom fucked with up. <laughs> <laughs> she fucked up. She didn't fuck him. She didn't fuck him. We don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's not get off topic. She probably did fuck he him. Watches this. He's gonna see this. It's mad <laughs> funny. Not Your mom should have fucked the <laughs> shit out of Triple. All right. So, anyways, uh, I don't know much about wrestling, but I, I I like this Hulk Hogan movie idea. I and I'm game for it. 
fucking game for it. Optimist, right? uh, skeptical game? Because that's kind of what I'm feeling. I, I just, I'm like, <laughs> here's the thing. Chris Hemsworth is not the right guy to get. And here's why I think that. Not because he's like, you know, he's a pretty macho motherfucker. Yeah. Chris Hemsworth, he's Thor. You know, and he's, he's kind got of the a, acting skills. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's definitely got the acting skills. The I mean, he's playing as a fucking wrestler. He mm-hmm. gives a fuck it. But he's just not as big and built as Hulk Hogan. Unless he beefs up some more. Unless I see a picture of him where he look, it really looks like Hulk Hogan. I just feel like you could get some people who could do Hulk Hogan better than Chris Hemsworth. Listen, this is not a role where there's a high focus on the ability of the actor to perform in a certain manner you see what i'm saying this is not like a joker this is not like some mob boss this is not something like that it's hulk hogan okay it's a he's a professional wrestler yeah you have to act you have to act like hulk hogan and that takes obviously acting skills but chris hemsworth i think is is, is really really good actor and it's oh, like, yeah, definitely. i think you could sacrifice some of his acting skills i think he overshoots it you see what I'm saying? If you have to be this good to play as Hulk Hogan in a movie, Chris Hemsworth's like this good. I think you could bring that down some and bring up how much he looks like Hulk Hogan up some more. So get someone who just resembles him more. Might not be that good of an actor, but good enough to at least get, you know play as Hulk Hogan yeah. for an hour and a half. You see what I'm saying? Like That's how I feel about it. I just feel as though Chris Hemsworth is... Chris Hemsworth is not the right choice, not the best choice for the movie. But I'm I'm not saying pull the plug on it. I'll still watch it. Like I'm sure it'll be dope. You know, I don't really know that much about Hulk Hogan. Will it be that interesting to watch? I guess. Again, I'm not even into fucking wrestling. John Cena. That's another dude I know. I know him. He's in the fucking whole yeah. bunch of movies. You know what I mean? Yeah. This is gonna take place like in the '80s. So the the lot of um, controversy and the controversial. Stuff with Hulk Hogan's not really going to be in it because that was right. that's more recent, you know what I mean? The yeah. racial stuff, so it's going to be more of a they're going to keep that positive spotlight. And Hulk Hogan is actually a producer, one of the producers on this, so of oh, course yeah. he's not going to let them, you know, fuck around and fuck tell up it, his shit. tell it in a light that he doesn't want to see. But right. yeah, I'm definitely game for this. Um, I too, I like I heard at first I pulled the plug. At first when I heard it, I'm like Chris Hemsworth as. Hulk Hogan. Then I sat there and I thought about it. I'm like, make up these days. You know what I mean? They can, they can make this motherfucker look like Hulk Hogan if they really they ball out. Like they can do it. It's gonna take a lot, but and I think his acting ability, he's gonna be able to imitate another person. You know what I mean? Oh, hundred so percent. I think Chris Hemsworth is gonna pull this off. I really want to see a trailer. Just so I can get that first look. Not even a trailer. Just give me that first picture. And then I feel like that'll just... I'll be... Because he's just kind of skeptical. He's not Hulk Hogan, though. He's not. He's like, not. if you really look at but him... Christian Bale isn't fucking... What's his face? Uh, Nixon. But look at Vice. It, you can do shit with makeup. You can make him look... He wasn't Nixon in Vice. Who the fuck was he... <laughs> uh, why did I say Nixon? Who the fuck was he in Vice? He was Dick Cheney. Dick Cheney. I said fucking Nixon. But look Dick at Dick Cheney, Cheney and look at... What Christian he Bale. With Christian Bale. Yeah, Christian Bale didn't know it didn't look a damn thing like right. him in real life, but they altered him so much right. to make so him look like So that's what I'm saying. That they, they would have to alter the shit out of right. him. He can't come in here and just clean play. No. You know what no. I mean? But that's what I'm saying. They can totally make him look like Hulk Hogan and then his acting ability you put mix those two together. You make yeah. him look like Hulk Hogan. His acting ability, of course, he's gonna be able to copy Hulk Hogan. It's not a hard motherfucker to even copy. I feel like I could put on a pretty good imitation of Hulk Hogan. Yeah, right. <laughs> you That's know what I'm saying. Mean? He's a wrestler, you know. Yeah. So it's like I, I think I really think he's gonna pull this off, and I think this is gonna be good. I really think this is gonna be good. It's gonna be interesting. Yeah. See what they do with this. Um. No. They don't. Um, there's nothing about the release date yet, and um, nothing about whether it's going to go to theaters or anything before it comes to Netflix. Kind of like what they did with uh, Hitman's Bodyguard, that was a Netflix original movie. So no word on anything like that yet. But I'm definitely, yeah. I'm definitely going to keep my eyes peeled for this one. I'm definitely interested. I, I mean, yeah, I might, I might actually watch it if it comes on Netflix. Yep. You know what I mean? Yep. Um, and oh, Randy Savage, that's another motherfucker that I know. He's oh, probably yeah, my favorite. Randy Savage. He's probably my favorite wrestler of all time. Randy Savage, wouldn't they? Oh, 
Randy or Andre the Giant, like that yeah. era, that should that might be in this biopic. Yeah, that was the eighties. That's that, what I'm saying. They should, cool. They get, I want to see I, the actors. They get to play them. Too. I would. I would rather a Randy Savage movie than a Hulk Hogan movie. Oh, yeah. In my opinion. Yeah, I would take that. I would you take know that what over I'm Hulk saying? Hogan. Like yeah. I'm not really crazy about Hulk Hogan, but he's an interesting enough person to make a movie about. Where I, you know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. I think they're gonna pull this off. I really yeah. do. Uh, it's directed by Todd Phillips. Directed uh, the Hangover movies, War Dogs, Old School, Starsky and Hutch, and the upcoming Joker movie and some other things. Uh, yeah, that makes, makes me, me wonder what kind of tone this is going to have, too. It seems yeah. like most of the movies he's had has directed have been comedies. Right. So I, I wonder if this is because Chris Hemsworth and comedy go fucking hand in hand. Yeah. You yeah, know what yeah. I mean? So it, it, that's, it probably is going for a comedy route. Maybe that's why they picked Chris, Chris Hemsworth. Maybe, um, yeah. Because I, I, there's potential for that to be hilarious. Chris Hemsworth in a comedy movie playing Hulk Hogan. God damn yeah. it. That, that can be hilarious. Yeah, you know, he is. He could be funny. You know what I mean? Um, speaking of which, yeah, we were talking earlier about the Joker being a part of his repertoire. The director, what was his name? Todd Phillips? Todd Phillips, yeah. He's directing the Joker movie. Yeah, like he directed The Hangover and he directed uh, the, what the hell was it with Will Ferrell? Old, Old school, school. Yep. yeah. Starsky and Hutch, yeah. It does not seem like doesn't seem like the type pick. of guy to direct the Joker movie, which kind of concerns me. I know we're not talking about the Joker movie. I'm just saying, I saw it in the list, and I'm like, what the fuck? You know, I didn't know that before. I didn't know that before. Should, we should have brought that up when we start for. When we, that's why I had the we first uh, did it. info in now, so we have that. Yeah. <laughs> it's important to have. Yeah, didn't even, why didn't we think of that? We didn't even think about who directed the Joker movie. We were just yeah, like, Joaquin know. Phoenix. It, that, cause it, the Joaquin Phoenix part was so fucking yeah, big. It yeah. really did overshadow yeah. who the fuck was actually directing the yeah. movie. It's like, oh, fuck. Yeah, like... But that that's a bit that's a really important thing. And now that I know that, I'm even more skeptical about this skeptical about the uh, Joker movie just because this yeah. motherfucker's directing. Well, see, I, that's another thing I'm, I need a fucking trailer for soon because God damn it, that comes out this year. Still nothing for it yet. No, when's the date? Uh, I believe it's later this year. So there's still time, but no, oh, yeah. we haven't really got much. Yeah, oh, we I know. just got that little clip of him kind of showing the Joker getting nervous. off topic, but hopefully that comes out soon. Our next topic. This is going to be fun, my friend. Favorite topic. So and we're going to start by um, <laughs> reviews. We're going to start slow. We're going to ease it in there, okay? Uh, reviews started coming out for Captain Marvel this week. They've been very positive. Um, a lot of talk about Ben Mendelsohn. He's the. He played, uh, what's his name in Rogue One, the bad guy? Oh, okay. Yep. And he was in um, Ready Player One. Wait, he plays as Admiral uh, Krennic. Krennic, that was oh his name. My Krennic God. is in this movie as oh the main my villain. God. And every, uh, not every, I but love him. Most of the reviews that I was seeing mention him. No, it's funny. Not many mentions at all of Brie Larson. Probably They're not. just all Ben Mendelsohn. And that excites He's me because that man is that man is great. He's I can't wait to fire. see what he brings. He's playing one of the scrolls. I can't oh wait to see what God. he brings to this. So a lot of uh, a lot of positive reviews, and you know, there's been some shit going on with this movie. But let me just ask you: Just Captain Marvel as a movie in general, you game or pull the plug? The excitement is building. How are you feeling about Captain Marvel? Oh well, I think we talked about Captain Marvel before. On no, we haven't had this topic yet. Really? Um, Captain Marvel as a movie without Brie Larson and all the bullshit that she's been saying, which lately. we are going to get to. Yeah, which we are going to get yes. to because. Jesus Christ. Uh, just a Captain Marvel movie in my game or pull the plug. I'm yeah. game for it. I'm totally yeah. game for it. Yeah, Captain Marvel. Fuck it. I know Captain Marvel. I know Captain Marvel. Like, I know a lot of people don't. They're like, who the fuck is Captain Marvel? No, I, I, I'm I, familiar with Captain Marvel. I know about her. I know I, her name didn't surprise me. Like, I, I already knew enough about Captain Marvel. Uh, I was yeah. actually confused because of Shazam. Shazam is actually was originally Captain, Captain Marvel, Marvel yeah. and they had to switch the shit around and everything. Marvel, yeah, who's in Marvel in the Marvel world, who's actually going to be in this movie. Yeah. So, and I saw the first trailer. I saw her costume. I liked her costume. She's got a pretty face. She just yeah, she looks, looks like, badass. She looks like the type to play Captain Marvel. I know she's built like a diving board. A lot of people are complaining about that, but that shit never really bothered me. Wonder she, Woman. Yeah, that a Wonder bit. Woman was. <laughs> Wonder Woman wasn't like a busty woman you know and people were complaining about that no i just don't think that's really important honestly like who gives a fuck like her boobs aren't big enough okay yeah it's gonna be a shitty fucking wonder woman yeah right right? like i understand you want to get someone who's going to represent the character to the fullest yeah really the fullest but like i just 
that is kind of silly. I feel as though the face is the most important part. The face, the yeah. hair color, like how they're dressed is the most important part. If their tits aren't that big, I feel it's like, you, like you would have more reason to complain that Hugh Jackman doesn't look enough like Wolverine. Yeah, you exactly. Know what I mean? Like yeah. that would make more sense because he's that. not short and wicked hairy, and ugly. like and yeah, like all <laughs> fucked up looking like the real Wolverine. Right. Is. Like he wasn't even in the yellow costume. It's not even like Wolverine. It's not right. even like the same dude. Um, and no one fucking complained about that. <laughs> well, I'm sure people complained well, about first, it first, but I mean, in the last five, six years, they loved it. Like, everyone loves it. Yeah, absolutely fucking, loved so. it. And people are still yeah. complaining about the way Wolverine, uh, Wolver- uh, Wonder Woman looks today. <clears throat> yeah, they today, do. and they're they're <laughs> complaining about her a lot. I've seen a lot of memes about the comic book character versus her but that's another thing guys you have to understand they over sexualize characters in these comic books oh over sexualize them even in some some forms of media you'll play it's a, crazy sometimes you, you'll play a fucking video game like i remember harley quinn in the batman arkham asylum games like or the arkham games i should say became like more sexy and sexy as it went on and yep. it was like what's going on with harley quinn because back in the 90s when she first came out on that cartoon when i was Animated a kid watching series, shit yep. she wasn't sexy at all that wasn't a part i understand it's a kid car- car- cartoon you're not going to have it but in a, in a, in, a, in a game that's rated t she's like sexy and then like before that game she wasn't sexy like i just don't i don't know and then yeah. suicide squad blew it way the fuck out of the water it was just like yeah we're her clothes yeah completely over sexualized <laughs> they completely eyed out her clothes by mistake i think <laughs> yeah right completely over sexualized the character so like i i'm not really it's like either she has nice tits or she doesn't. It doesn't really matter. I just whatever you know. Characters aren't always <laughs> going to fit the the character. Right. Actors are not always going to fit the character that they are playing or representing at the time. You know what I mean? So that's that's how I feel about it. But yeah, I'm I'm game for Captain Marvel now. I've seen the trailer. Do I like the trailer? Hell no. I don't no, like the trailer. No, me neither. Fuck. I saw the first trailer. Didn't like it. Um. She's kind of like Superman. I understand, and I want to see her kick some serious ass. I like that. You know, but I just. Oh, well, okay. So, what do you so, think about the movie? Also, besides- Captain Marvel. I'm, I'm game. How can I not be? The fucking the excitement is like building for Captain Marvel, and it's just overfilling for Endgame as Captain Marvel gets closer. You know what I mean? And then walking out of Captain Marvel, you know we're gonna get something of Endgame. We're gonna get something oh, in post credit sure. scene. So the hype after Captain Marvel is gonna be insane for Endgame. Although, and see what kind of link we get. A lot of people, including myself, maybe you, were anticipating a link after Guardians of the Galaxy 2. We were. We know it's been shit. confirmed. It's been confirmed. Okay. Yeah, but I'm just saying, some, like, yeah. I was like, if you didn't tell me it was confirmed, mm. like, I'd be like, uh... Maybe. You know, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. Guardians 2, I was really expecting... Yeah, but even in the story, there's gotta, we got to know what the hell happened with Captain Marvel and where she went. Yeah, so even yeah. that's a link enough to get really excited for Endgame. Like uh, when um, Nick Fury pages her, it's like now we're gonna know where the fuck she was. Why? Maybe maybe have an idea as to why she never came or he never paged her at any other time. Right. To get more right. insight into that, and that's really exciting. Yeah. And then just to see her as a character, then we're like, oh fuck! Now we're about to see her, and maybe go at Thanos and right. see her in Endgame, right. see her with all these other characters. She'd Captain, meet Captain. Like I hope there's some sort of scene like that, you know, just corny shit. Like it, it, I'm game for Captain Marvel, but there's something going on, guys. <laughs> something. There's something going. They already on. know, I'm sure. Now, I'm sure most of you have heard <clears throat> the comments Brie Larson has made about white male press. Yes, well, white males on this planet. Uh, she said, and I quote. I do not need a 40-year-old white dude to tell me what didn't work about A Wrinkle in Time. It wasn't made for him. Press appears to be overwhelmingly white male. Yeah, her press tour, the people that are touring with her press. It's overwhelmingly white male. Yes. What are your thoughts on that? Okay, so here's the thing, right? What are my thoughts on it? (laughs) Tear it in. Obviously, obviously this is... It's it's wow. How do you even start to dig into this? It's discriminating and it's prejudice. Okay, those two things simultaneously. It's It's fucked up. Okay, I don't need a forty year old white dude to tell me what didn't work about a wrinkle in time. Okay, listen, listen. There's a thing. There is nothing, nothing about anybody's skin color that should prevent them from having an opinion on any form of media or anything that they choose to have an opinion upon. Okay. Another thing is, if you really want diversity, <clears throat> you wouldn't be excluding any 
you wouldn't be excluding any type of person at any moment. You see what I'm saying? If her if her press tour was overwhelmingly black female, overwhelmingly, would she come out and say, "Hey guys, wait a minute, we need more white men on my press tour"? What kind of shit is that? You shouldn't be sorting anybody out by the color of their skin. So okay, so that's two right there, right? <clears throat> Three, you have to understand that a movie is something that that is structured, that could be criticized professionally, okay? There's an actual setup for it. There's a beginning, there's an end, there's a climax, there's the ramp up, there's the acting, how well the acting is, how well is the writing, how well is the directing. These things are actually gauged on a scale of how good something can be. You can actually have a bad movie and people really like it and a good, well directed filmed movie and people dislike it you see what i'm saying that's what separates it from music music is just pure expression and yes Very there's subjective yeah, yeah obviously there has to be patterns like humans respond to certain patterns that's what we recognize as music but any pattern in any frequency is considered music so you can like right. it or dislike it. That's not going to gauge whether it's good or not. Movies are entirely different. So a white person's opinion on a movie and how it is structured, has, it should make no difference whether they're, they're black or white. And she should recognize this. Obviously she doesn't because she's a feminist and she's subscribed to the far left and the feminist movement and she's against the white male patriarchy. So obviously she's not going to completely overlook that. Um, and it's, it's ridiculous, too, because she's dating, or she at least used to date, a straight white male. And it's like, oh, gee, I wonder why that relationship didn't work out. It's like... Because she made him feel like shit. <laughs> yeah, or he was... he was he, I, I, I honestly feel like... I honestly think this. I honestly think that whoever, the, whoever she was with was probably like a girl. That dude was probably a cuck. Like, he was probably the biggest beta male you've ever seen in your entire life. Like, how are you going to date a woman who has a problem with white male patriarchy? Listen, here's another quote that you didn't have on the laptop that she said, the first one that I heard about. She didn't like how there was so many white people coming out and watching the movie and reviewing the movie when the movie wasn't made for them, which is ridiculous because who the fuck? You're going to make a movie for everybody to watch. Why would you make a movie and only have it you know, be able to be viewed by a certain amount of people with a certain skin color? Uh, that's not ringing a bell to you? The, you're not getting any red flags by that? You see what I'm saying? There's movie wasn't made for you what are you talking about it's a movie they meant to entertain human beings that's why we're watching it uh what the hell was i i was gonna go on a rant about something oh right her first quote so she was saying that she wanted more black women or black people in general more diverse you know people to come and review her movie and watch her movie and get a chance to do it here's the thing she also said that she wanted it to represent the actual numbers of the people who live in the country, which doesn't make any sense because the majority of people in this country just so happen to have white skin. So obviously, what do you think? What do you think most people who are going to do anything in this country, the chances of them being overwhelmingly white is high. It's the highest out of every other race. Of course there'd be more white people reviewing and watching your movies. There's more white people. They outnumber blacks and Indians and Chinese people in America. T 10 to 1. Of course there's going to be more white people. You want it to reflect the country? It does reflect the country. Th and them not being a black person, a black woman, let's just say, let's play her game, right? A black woman not seeing your movie, not reviewing your movie, is not a consequence of the white male patriarchy. That's a wrong narrative to have. It means that they just are not interested in that field. Like... Plain and simple as that. There's a lot of women who like to get into nurses. They like to take care of children. They like to get into psychology. They like to help other people. What are we going to say? Well, how come there's not men in this field? It must be a result of the white female matriarchy. It's like, no, it's just biological differences between people. They don't, they're not interested in the same things. There's not a lot of black women in the country, first of all, compared to white women. And those that are in the country might not be that much into reviewing movies. Movies. That's probably why there's more males reviewing movies than there are females reviewing movies. Reviewing movies. So, 
Yeah, that's what I think about Brie Larson. She, obviously, all the shit that she's been talking has brought down the the projections of the movie by what fifty million dollars? Forty million. Forty million? Yeah. Gee, I wonder why. Went Probably one hundred and forty million dollar projection to a hundred million dollar projection within days of her saying this shit. Right. And I then wonder she why. She tried to retract her statements today, as the day that we're filming this, the, the, all this shit came out today, this morning. She's trying to say, oh, I'm not trying to take anybody's seat, seat from the table. I'm just trying to add seats. That's no. not what she said. No, that no, is not, And if that's no. what, she said something more along the lines of that in the first place, it wouldn't irk me as much. Like, if she simply right. just said, I just want, I just think there should be more diversity in the press, whatever. Uh, whatever to attack right. a certain group and be like there's too many of you right like that hits me like me and darren's opinions don't matter about this movie to brie larson we're both half white so i mean well your skin color is oh it's more skin color so then I, my opinion doesn't matter but that's what i'm saying what no what, what does it must. it what doesn't does it, mean anything <laughs> to a captain marvel movie and then that just shows even marvel was like look what are you doing? Like, I know they said something to her because she right. came out today and retracted her statement in such a fashion that it was like... Somebody obviously talked to her. Yeah, someone obviously. talked to you because that's completely... That's not what you said. Right. And it, there's proof that you didn't say that. You know what I mean? Right. And it, it's just so... Like, God damn it. Why is... Uh, the politics and movies and it, it's just... Why do they have to come together? Why can't they just stay separate? Why does this... Why does this have to be a thing? I just... I, I don't... I, I don't give a fuck. I'm going to go see Captain Marvel. I don't give a fuck what Brie Larson said. She doesn't care about my opinion. Whatever. It, uh, good, because I'm not going to be able to tell her my opinion. Right, like, right. I, just don't, I don't give a fuck. Um, like, Is it right that she did that? No. I really wish she didn't, because that sucks that the projections went down. Like, it, She's irking people to the point they don't want to see that movie. It would be That's really insane. hard to do that to me, Yeah. but she's like, it's pissing people off. And I get it. You're literally attacking a group of people. Like, yeah, that group of people got fucking upset about it. Right, they're not going to see the movie, right? And, and, and so... Okay, what like just uh, it should just it annoys me. Well, here's the it thing. Just annoys me. Here's the thing. Like I I don't um whatever Brie Larson wants to say in her spare time about the movie, which by the way she's saying it's her movie, which I think her is kind of weird. And on her spare time, I, I I think I already like where you're going with this. Yeah, it's like you know. It, it, it doesn't really have an effect on whether or not I'm necessarily going to watch the movie. I just don't want the movie in general to actually reflect her political opinions, if you want to call them political. Because they're feminist. They're really feminist. And it's anti-white uh, male. That's Bring what it, it is. On your fucking press tours for that movie is too much. Yeah. You're correlating it right there, your beliefs with the movie. like Right. And then it was just, I just don't want this women empowerment in the movie. I'm sorry. I don't. Nobody wanted it in Wonder Woman, and we were all concerned about it being in Wonder Woman. Because there's been history of Wonder Woman. They always say, oh, the exactly. men this, of the men that. It wasn't because, like that, really. No, it wasn't like that at all. That's, that's what I want. But if you guys have seen uh, Jessica Jones Season 2. It was feminist. It was like some feminist was bullshit, that's wasn't it? Stuff that I don't like. Don't push that in my face. Right. You know what I mean? Just. Fucking hey, just give me a good movie. And Why does there have to be this political agenda behind certain movies? You know what I'm saying? And they, they dropped Jessica Jones season two on Women's Day, National Women's Day. They dropped it on that day. You know what I'm saying? It's like, listen, just keep all that shit out of it. Keep it all out of it. And, and then there's going to be people online that are going to be like, oh, you don't like women? You don't want it to be on Women's Day. Listen, my opinion on women is completely irrelevant when it comes to me watching a Marvel movie called Captain Marvel. It doesn't matter what you, what propaganda you put in it. It's not going to change my mind. Like, even if I had some stigma against women, which I obviously don't, it wouldn't have any effect on me watching the movie Captain or not. Marvel. You know what? Yeah, women are actually pretty dope. They're pretty like, dope. That Captain Marvel movie was fire. <laughs> yeah, like, like that's that's absolutely insane. It's absolutely insane. And that's the that's another problem with Brie Larson. She here's the thing: NPCs. Non-playable characters? I'm sure you've heard of it in a video game. Yep. Mr. X in Resident Evil 2, he's an NPC because you can't play as him unless you're modding the game. Of course, then you can play as anybody you fucking want. But people in life are NPCs, especially on the far left. They're NPCs. In other words, they're going to spew forth 
uh, rhetoric that resembles the political ideology ideology that they've subscribed to. It's you could tell that right off the bang. Like it's kind of you can when you're talking to somebody that really knows what the fuck they're talking about and they're really invested, truly and genuinely in the topic that they're discussing. There's going to be things that don't add up with what everyone else is saying. They're going to be unique things that they say that make them stand out from the crowd. Brie Larson is saying exactly what every single feminist is saying. It's not even like she has unique ideas. You're against the white male patriarchy. She probably loves that Gillette commercial. Probably raves that Gillette commercial. Probably wrote it. She probably <laughs> wrote the shit. She probably wanted to act in the shit. If you watch the trailer again in the Gillette commercial, she was probably the Captain girl Marvel's that was in the background. Yeah, she was probably the girl that was walking down the street that the guy went to go talk to. You know what I'm saying? Like she's definitely. I guarantee you, she's definitely down for that commercial. Hundred percent. So that's the type of person that you're dealing with when it comes to this movie. And again, oh, she's only hurting herself too. Like you pull stunts like this at your press tours, people aren't gonna want to fucking work with you. Yeah, they're if really you're not doing shit like this. Like they're really Marvel not. had to talk to you. Marvel had to have a fucking talk with you. You know what I mean? Now in the future, I'm sure she's probably not gonna do shit like this. Now, no, probably because not. Because she's gonna be Captain Marvel for a while, unless I yep. mean, unless she fucking dies in Endgame, which they right. might just kill her off now, so they're not to deal with her in the press tours anymore. <laughs> Yeah, right. But stuff like that, like you do stuff like that in Hollywood, people don't want to fucking work with you. So you're you're really only hurting yourself, and you're just pissing people off. You're hurting your own reputation. Like Brie Larson's a good actress, but now I now I hear the name Brie Larson, I automatically think of this. Oh, she doesn't like white males. It's the yeah. first thing I think of now when I hear Brie Larson. Not that she's a great actress and that she's going to be Captain Marvel. Right, exactly. It, like they you're even just asked hurting her. yourself. They asked her. She there was an interview where it's quote unquote. She says, "No, I, I don't hate white males. Like you should never have to say that." You understand that? Like, never in your career should you after have to be like you're back against the wall and be like, "Hey, hey, listen, I don't hate white guys." Like, you shouldn't. Have, this should never leave white your mouth. Female, hey, yeah, I don't like. I mean, I don't dislike white males. Like, you, uh, yeah, you, you like, should never be put in a position where you have where to you have to explain yourself. that. Like, that's ridiculous. And then here's the thing, guys. Just imagine it was black people. Just imagine it was black people. She's just like, hey, listen, there's an overwhelming amount of black people in my my press tour. I don't like it. Okay, listen, I don't want black people to come see this movie. There's too many of them. I don't care what some black guy has to say. I don't care. What does she say about what some 40-year-old fucking... White guy. Dude. Yeah, white okay, dude. so let me read the quote. Just say black instead of white. I don't need a 40-year-old black dude to tell me what didn't work about A Wrinkle in Time. It wasn't made for him. That that Pick statement. A white movie. Pick a white movie. I don't need a 40-year-old white dude to tell me what, a black dude to tell me what he thought about Rocky. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Like, it's it's disgusting either way you flip it. Either way you flip it. And again, she's just feminist. She's a feminist and she hates the male patriarchy. She thinks that she thinks that women are oppressed in this country due to white males because they are a majority, which is asinine, asinine train of thought. But she's an actress. She doesn't know jack shit about politics. She doesn't know jack shit really about how our society functions. She doesn't even understand the consequences of the leftist material that she subscribes to. She really doesn't. It's like socialist ideas, these group identity politics. She has no idea about any of that shit. She's just pops right on because she's a woman she's a white woman and then how oppressed are you brie larson you're a fucking you're you're, you're a, captain marvel yeah you're captain marvel funny, just looking at this picture like yeah that's an that's oppressed I'm, woman all right that's what i'm saying like what the fuck are you talking about how are women oppressed when you're the f I, listen and she's not the first women superhero get that the fuck out of here she's not she's she's the first captain marvel is the first solo movie in the Marvel Cinematic Universe where the main character is a woman. That's it. Yeah. She's not the first famous superhero woman. Get that? No. Not, absolutely not. People say absolutely that? not. No, but people act like it. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like, oh, this is the first yeah. woman being in the yeah, fucking... The fuck no, like, no, no. We've had women in the MCU as superheroes since day fucking one. Scarlett Johansson's next to get her solo movie. Yeah, exactly. So I don't give a fuck what people feel like or how they try to make it seem like she's like this is some big special event. It's not. It's not. Wonder Woman was a bigger event than whatever the fuck this... Well, I know exactly what the fuck this is, but Wonder yeah. Woman was a bigger event than Captain Marvel. Yeah, it was. Straight oh, up. yeah, definitely, yeah. Yeah, I just look. Yeah, we're game for Captain Marvel in the movie, but Jesus Christ, Brie Larson's the, the behind the scenes shit right now. It, it's a mess. It's honestly a mess. And Jesus Christ, your movie when this drops on Tuesday, the movie comes out next week. Yeah, and you're pulling, yeah. you're pulling stunts like this. This kind of and bullshit. And you drop the projections by forty million. 
Yeah. They're probably going to kill the guys. They're going to kill her off in Endgame. They can't deal with her anymore. <laughs> 40 million? No, they'll just silence her. They just won't have her talk like that. They just yeah. can't have yeah. her talk like Straight that. Yeah, straight up. They're going to they're gonna have her on a fucking leash. Yeah. Now she's oppressed. It. Yeah. I wonder what she thinks of Iron Man. I wonder what she thinks of Tony uh, Tony, Tony Stark and uh, Robert Downey Jr. Oh, Jesus Christ. I wonder if she thinks of Captain America. She, po- she probably thinks <laughs> Captain America is a bitch. You know what I'm saying? She probably has some inner hatred for Captain America. No, seriously. Seriously. He is the he is the epitome of this white male patriarchy that you so despise, Brie Larson. He is the epitome. He is the physical manifestation of the white male patriarchy. And you fuck around and say some shit about Captain America, the MCU fans will... Oh, we, my God. Let me tell God. you right now, we're not going to let you be Captain, uh, Captain, Captain Marvel, Marvel anymore. anymore. We're going to lose oh our my shit. God. And they're going to be like, we can't have her play Captain Marvel I'm anymore. Really, no one's going to see this I'm shit. I'm really surprised she hasn't said anything about him. That's probably the exact reason, Doug. The exact fucking reason That probably reason is she the hasn't. reason. Because, God damn it, she's in the MCU. She knows damn well she can't say anything like that. Seriously. So join? Yeah, what a, what, what a bitch. What a bitch. What a spineless little bitch. You know for a fact she doesn't like Captain America. She doesn't like his character. He's everything that she despises. He is everything that she despises. He is literally America, head to toe, red, white, and blue, white, straight, heterosexual if she male. Hasn't already, I, I'm really interested to see what, uh, an interview where she talks about her feelings on Captain America. Yeah, I'm seriously. Like, I, like, I'm probably going to YouTube that shit after this fucking podcast. Just, I wonder it, what, what, it, what bullshit she said, because I know damn well she didn't trash him. No, no, no. no. She no fakes way. it. She, she has to fake it, because her, yeah. her ideology does not support Captain America. It goes against Captain America. And that's another thing too, Brie Larson. That's going against her whole her whole thing. Her whole, that's even what I'm saying. Her, even her um, refusing to talk shit about Captain America for that reason is going against everything you believe in. It, that's what I'm saying. It's spineless. Like, Jesus Christ. Like, way to sell yourself out. Seriously. Like, you're going to get in a film with Captain America? You're a feminist. <laughs> you're a feminist. Like, get the fuck out of here. It's all bullshit. That's our feelings on Captain Marvel, guys. <laughs> so... Yeah, what do you guys think about the comments, uh, the topics we talked about? I can't even fucking talk. I'm, we're all distraught. Like, fucking. What do you guys think? What do you guys think about Captain Marvel? What do you guys think about this whole Brie Larson thing? Um, jump down in the comment section and let us know. Uh, that's all we got for today. Be sure to check out the Jay Meany review. Be sure to check out Darren Unfiltered. Be sure to check out Captain Marvel when it comes out and try not to let this bother you to that point where you don't want to see it. Seriously. I gotta try real hard because God damn, it's like the more we sit here and talk about it, it pisses me off more. Seriously. Uh, All right. So next time, well, yeah. If anything you guys want us to talk <laughs> about, any topics, anything like that, send them to the p button at gmail dot com. One more time, the p button at gmail dot com. But yeah, guys. Until next time, peace out, motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs>